I would like to use this opportunity to extend special thanks to our partners in the government for the two most important achievements we have managed to make together during the past year. The United Nations team moved to the UN House last spring, and we can now exercise our daily work under one roof and in the true spirit of delivering together for development of Serbia and its people. The new development partnership framework for the period 2016 to 2020 was approved by the government of the Republic of Serbia earlier this year and is now being implemented. We have pledged and committed to support countries' development priorities with two key overarching objectives, to ensure smooth implementation of the Agenda 2030 and to support Serbia's EU accession process. Following eight successful years in office, the current United Nations Secretary General, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, will hand over his post to the new UN Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Gutierrez. We will be delighted to support Mr. Gutierrez in his efforts to reform the United Nations and in all other endeavors of the United Nations system that should lead to peace and security and further development. We are particularly pleased that the new UN Secretary General understands well the challenges of the refugee and migrant crisis that the world is faced with today. The Secretary General has empowered the UN office in Belgrade that I lead to support the countries in the region uh, in their efforts towards improving regional cooperation and enhancing stability. We commend the professionalism and good reputation of Serbian peacekeepers uh, and applaud their efforts to also increase the number of women peacekeepers. Serbia is the leader in the Western Balkans in terms of troop and, troops and police contribution to UN peacekeeping efforts. And thank you all, because if you're here, it means that you are friends of the UN. Just the last word that belongs to Ban Ki-moon, which is an appeal that I recommend you to follow. I want to end with an appeal by Ban Ki-moon. It's my last chance to quote him publicly. Be a global citizen. Act with passion and compassion. Help us make this world safer and more sustainable today and for the generations that will follow us. That is our moral responsibility. Sa velikim zadovoljstvom ističemo da je odlukom Vlade Republike Srbije započeo rad UN House. I sa radošću očekujemo njeno zvanično otvaranje uz prisustvo zvaničnika Ujedinih nacija. Nadamo se da ćemo uskoro potpisati i finalnu verziju petogodišnjeg okvira razvojnog partnerstva Republike Srbije i Ujedinih nacija, koji će dati novi zamajac našim naporima u daljem seobuhvatnim reformama našeg društva, poboljšanju životnog standarda i procesu pristupanja Evropskoj uniji. Ovom prilikom bih želao i da izrazim zahvalnost predstavniku generalnog sekretara i šefu kancelare Ujedinih nacija u Beogradu, Simoni Mireli Mikulesku i stalnom koordinatoru Ujedinih nacija u Srbiji i predstavniku UNDP-a Ireni Vojačkovo i Soljorano na njihovom trudu tokom obavljena dužnosti u našoj zemlji. Uveren sam da Republika Srbija može da računa na vaše prijateljstvo i podršku i u budućnosti. Čestitam nam svima dan naše organizacije, organizacije Ujedinih nacija, međunarodne organizacije koju Srbija Mogao bih da kažem najviše voli. Zato što i vi volite nas.